fellow viewers, we're going to do another shop vlog today. Got to get some things rearranged and organized, put away, moved off to the other location. So we're going to start with some ceiling fans. Um, I have I have a box to a ceiling fan over here. It's a heritage uh, fan. And I have the fan for this. Just kind of floating around the studio area. Okay, I've got the blades up over here. This is going to require some hands, I think. So I've got these blades, which go to this fan. And then, oh jeez. I have the motor. Freak show, freak show. I have the motor hanging up over there. And I need this space for the fans I don't have boxes for. You know, because the fans I've got the boxes for, they can just go in the box but I can't have all these fans chilling on the ceiling that have boxes because I need the space on the ceiling so let's get this thing off of the ceiling okay and I gotta get the stool screwdriver and we'll take down the bracket where is the stool the stool disappeared well I'll use this dangerous one really got to get this fixed it shouldn't be too hard to fix that I just got to spend the time to do it not good not good at all I guess if I fall, I probably have a good video. Okay. Screwdriver. Good bit. There we go. Now let's see if I fall or if I can just get this down successfully. store that way. Okay, so we have blades. So we need to do a couple of things here. Let's see how this sits in the box. The blades go on the top. Let's see if anything else goes on the top. Should have at least three of these. Yep, there's a singular screw in here. And a singular spare nut and bolt. So that's the original bag, but it doesn't seal, so I'm going to get a bag that seals. I just had one around here the other day. The capacitors came in. That's not it. Is that it? 
too small. Well, I'll use this one if these bearings came in because it doesn't. Bearings don't need to be in there. They're already in a, a container of their own. Okay, so let's put all the the bolts and such in there. screws and now we're going to take off the uh, I guess we'll take the light off and then we'll get the irons off oh look at that there's an incandescent light bulb in there what's the wattage in this thing it's a 60 watts that's good we'll keep that around nice small Okay, so the motor is going to reside in that I think the light fixture will go Let's see. I think the light goes like this. In fact, it may even remain. Will it remain connected? No, I guess not. This bag is for the irons, that's for the irons. Irons. This has got a lot of bags here. That's probably for the motor, so this should be for the light. And that rubber band thing is still malleable and soft after all these years. Kind of impressive. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Let's get the um, irons off. This bit makes a good fit. Always want to use the right size bit so nothing strips out.
should do it for the irons. And now I believe the canopy and the downward have to come off. I'll just put the pole chains in with the screws. That's probably where they were originally anyways. Okay, and then the down rod I think all that stuff goes in the top. Yeah, that's going to go there. Okay, so... I think that's everything that goes in the bottom layer. Okay, that's fitting on there correctly. Now the irons have to go in their bags. They should be individually wrapped so they don't get scratched up. And as long as they're in their bags, they can sit on top of each other and they'll be perfectly fine. all the irons and now I just realized that the, the canopy I think has to go on, on the bottom, not the canopy, the uh, mounting bracket. It's going to have to go in there like that. So let's put it back into the, might as well put it back into the, into the canopy here. These screws to the other bag.
that in there like that. I think that's fine. Okay, great. Now this is where the down rod's going to go. Stuff. I'm not really sure what that went around. Okay, so let's see the blades. They were in there at some point, I think. Tag on it, I wanted to reuse that paper. And they're both pretty good the way they are. I think I'm just going to stick them in there as is. I guess not. Sure, what that went to, but I'll put that back in because it's part of the original packaging. And I'm not sure what these pieces went on either, but just stick them back there. And that's that. This is all closed up again. Everything that came out of it. Okay. ready to go to safe store now. And it's not eating up any more space in the studio. Now over here there's something that's been agitating me for a while. This stinking draw keeps jamming. It won't close once it's been opened. It doesn't close past this much. 
I don't understand what the problem is. There's nothing in the way, you know. Okay, just closed, whatever. Now, the next thing I want to do after this is we're going to take down this fan because the uh, this fan is going to go in the place of where the where that heritage fan was and this is going to be extremely frustrating because these light shades are held on with some cockamamie stupid system which is one of the dumbest things I've seen in a long time and it was very agitating to get these on it seems like it's going to be almost impossible to get them off can't even get this in the fudge. There's there's a, a thing in there it's got a turn. And I don't know how I got it on as far as I did. I think it's gonna end up breaking if I try to oh, there we go. Moved a little bit. It's got a crack in it. I know these things are brittle from the heat, you know, years of use near a light bulb. Okay. One down. Ready to go. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't fun either, though. One of those broke. So how is the fourth shade held on? Oh, you know what? I might have fixed it. I might have glued it back together and fixed it.
that wasn't all that bad. A lot less agitating than I thought it was going to be. Now, where can I put these shades in the interim? And I want them just floating around here. Let's take. Let's like put them here. So I'll put one of them on this fan because it's got a few of the screws there still. A lot of the screws are missing for some reason. A tripod kick for the video. Really, only need two screws. Uh, that seems to be enough to get it sturdy. So I'll just grab two screws from this fan over here. There are four screws, rather, two for each shade. I should buy a bunch more of these screws because they always seem to be missing. Okay, put these deplorable things back on this VN. I can remove the screws 
without taking the switch housing off. I'm not certain though. They have to. Nope. No need. I can do it with the switch housing on. This is terrible. Such a nice fan. I can't believe how damaged that guy. Still agitated by that sale. Total scam ripoff nonsense. But that is what it is. It happens when you buy things on the e ripoff. Kind of avoided buying ceiling fans on there at this point because it usually doesn't go well. Alright, so let me get a bag and then we'll put the screws off into the bag. At one point, these were very nice blades. They had a beautiful cherry finish. And then, I don't know what happened. I've never seen anything quite like that. And this side is still pretty nice. What a shame. It's such a nice fan. This is one of the nicest looking fans that Hampton Bay produced in the 2000s era. And it was good quality too. It was very powerful and quiet.
I did get another one of these after I did the videos of this fan. It's new in the box, but it's not the brass, the, the polished brass one. It's the antique brass one. It's still a very nice fan, but I do, I am partial to the polished brass one. Okay, I'm going to put all these blades away later, and I'll, I'll put the irons away later. I don't want to get into that right now. It's time consuming. Okay, now we're going to change this out. I think uh, I'll move that Coca-Cola fan over there, because I've got to get the blades, you know, packed up on that thing. So I want to use it, then I can move on. Get, get it ready to go. Move to the other location. But I don't want to pick it up without doing a video of it. Or using it, you know, I want to use it for a little while too. Okay. So this we need to remove the wires. worth underscoring that the switch house never broke on this thing. There's a lot of promoters, there's a lot of people, there were some people that were doubting my repair on the switch housing. Yeah, it was fine. I had no issues with the switch housing. drops of oil on these screws last time. They work much better now. Okay, so we'll just trade places with the cola fan. Light bulb gets hot, good grief. Just feel the heat radiating off of it. Holy mackerel.
close it is to that light bulb, but I guess it doesn't matter if it gets hot. It's just sheet metal. Okay. Now let's put this bracket over here. <laughs> I think the next video is going to be fixing up the stool. Because this is getting a little ridiculous here. I think it's just going to completely fall apart any soon. Oops, not correct correctly at all. Not good. Let's do it again. Take these two screws off of the bottom because that's what disappears the canopy up there. Those screws didn't have to fully come out because it's got the turn things on it. 
Oh well. Didn't realize that at the time. Should pay attention more. Okay, there we go. This is all pretty good. It's straighter. I'm not sure if there's a light bulb in there. I guess the easiest way to find out is to just turn it on. It appears that there's no bulb. Doesn't sound like it's burned out. What the heck? Huh. The light's all busted up. It don't work. Okay. I didn't think I made any wiring errors, but I guess we have to take it apart and see what is the problem here. housing, I guess, to see what the problem is. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. It's kind of odd. But, you know, sometimes lights break. It's not unheard of. Nothing. 
Okay. Well, it's getting late. Certainly too late to start taking apart lights. So, I know everything is connected correctly up here. So I'm just going to screw this canopy back on. And we're going to have to uh, investigate the light situation in a separate video.